Go. Eric here at Purity Fitness. We're going to talk about an epidemic that's sweeping our nation. It's called pan ass. It means you have a flat butt. It means you don't have a butt. And that doesn't, it does not only not look good, it's not good for your overall function. You need to have your hips turned on and firing so that your, your back and your knees are protected. They're basically like shock absorbers. Plus, those are the big drivers behind the big movements, deadlifts, squats, lunges. If your knees hurt, if your back hurts, look to your hips. So we're going to talk about three things to activate your hips. Number one is, is an outer toe ball here. Uh, we do see health here. And one of the things that gets shut down is this outer hip, which has a lot to do with stability and power. So we want to turn that on. There's actually a joint, a foot called the cuboid, that actually wires up to the outer hip. So first thing is we've got to turn this thing on. Bad shoes, foot injuries, they can shut this thing down. We're going to just open up our, you've noticed I'm just kind of driving my, I'm just doing a little three little pulses to open up this joint on the outside of my ankle. I know it's kind of weird booty stuff, but this is what turns on the hip. So now my, hip, my glutes are turned on. I'm going to activate them. There's two exercises I'm going to do. I'm going to target the outer glutes, the glute medius. I'm just going to do a basic tube walk. I'm going to step here, slow down that back leg, step, slow down. Don't let this leg just come flying in. Control that back leg. Do about 15 of these each direction. You're going to feel these muscles fire up and turn on, especially if you've been sitting on them all day. The other one we're going to do is the glute maximus on the back. Um, a lot of times we're sitting on the glute maximus, our hip flexors get tight, these get weak and shut down, so we're going to go. I like to elevate a little bit. You can do a one or two leg version. I like my toes up, I want to activate these shin muscles too, which are another one that get weak. I'm going to drive up, hold about two seconds. Drive up, hold two seconds, and I want to make sure I'm feeling here, not my low back. I'm pulling my abs tight, and I'm not arching my back. I like to do this with a little more advanced. Keep the legs even. Do it about 10 to 15 each side, hold two seconds at the top. Do those exercises to turn your butt on so that your brain can actually find your butt, your butt can actually fire during your, your workouts. This is part of your movement prep. If nothing else, even if you're not working out, do these every day so you don't have the pan butt, so you actually have a, a butt that's turned on and have a shape to your butt. Then throw in those squats and lunges too. So that's my tip for the day. Avoid the pan butt, activate those glutes. We'll see you next week.